And we begin with the massive unity rally that has been taking place in Paris to honour the 17 victims of last week's terror attacks. Dozens of world leaders joined the march amid some of the tightest security the world has ever seen as France remains on its highest state of alert. Son jong in reports. French officials have described it as the largest march in the country's history. An unprecedented number of people, estimated to be more than one and a half million, took part in a unity march in Paris holding Je suis Charlie or I am Charlie signs. The rally, led by relatives of the victims, began on Sunday afternoon at the Place de la République, a traditional location for demonstrations. Thousands of police and soldiers were deployed to maintain security and protect those taking part. The march was held in response to the cold-blooded killings that began last Wednesday in the French capital when two brothers, Said and Sharif Kawachi, raided the offices of the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. It ended on Friday with the brothers and another gunman being shot dead by police, but only after more people had lost their lives. In total, 17 innocent people were killed during the three days of violence. Showing support for France, more than 40 world leaders joined Sunday's march, linking arms in an act of solidarity. Those in attendance included French President François Hollande, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and Ukraine President Petro Poroshenko. The three gunmen responsible for the attacks are dead, but investigators are still trying to track down the girlfriend of one of them. 26-year-old Hayat Boumedien, who was described as armed and dangerous earlier, is thought to have fled France at the time of the killings. Reports suggest she may have entered Turkey en route to Syria. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.